Look, privacy is a myth. Yes, it's true. But the least we can do is protect our privacy better. So today I'm going to talk about the absolute best privacy apps on Android that you should be using right away. Now these are apps that I've used, tested, and these are fairly unknown, not so popular apps. So if you care about your privacy on Android, make sure to watch this video till the very end. Now let's get started. Now before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to Wondershare Market, our sponsors for today's video. Market is a new platform for UX, UI, web designers, product managers, marketing specialists, and testers to create great prototypes and UI design with ease. The tool lets you create a prototype in less than 10 minutes, thanks to 500 plus libraries of icons, components, screens, and templates. And I like the fact that it's based on the cloud and has support for features like team members, feedback sharing, and more. Plus along with prototypes, Market has also added support for designs, flowcharts, with mind map support coming soon. Wondershare Market is an online tool, but it's also available on Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. And it's available to try for free right now. So go ahead and check it out from the link in the description down below. So the first app on the list is Aurora Store, which is available on FDroid, which as you guys know, is a very popular repository for open source Android apps. Anyway, talking about Aurora Store, it is basically the Google Play Store without any of the tracking and with more privacy features. First up, it does not require you to log in so you can remain anonymous on the app. Then there are so many handy privacy features. I mean, it shows you the number of trackers an app has. For example, WhatsApp, as you can see, has one tracker. Instagram, on the other hand, has two trackers. And Messenger takes it a step ahead and has four trackers. And you can even tap here to get all the details of these trackers. Apart from this, Aurora Store lets you access apps not available in your country too. And if there's an app not available for your particular device, you can use the spoof manager here to get access to that app by changing your device ID. Overall, Aurora Store is great and it uses the Play Store repo, so most apps are available here. Now, the next app on the list is a pretty interesting privacy app. So Jumbo sounds like a very fun app, but it's not. It's very serious and very handy. So this is the app and it has some great privacy features. First up, you can just enter your email in the app and it will scan the web to show you if your personal data has leaked somewhere. As you can see, my personal info has leaked in 12 data breaches. And there's also info on the platforms who are responsible for the leak. There's Big Basket, Nitro, Mashable, Canva and more. And it also shows you what led to the breach below every platform. So this is very useful. Now, apart from this, Jumbo also lets you link your different social media accounts and shows you what these apps know about your personal life. As you can see, I have linked my Facebook account and it shows me how Facebook is using my personal info. It's telling me that 90 advertisers are showing me ads based on my contact information. Also, as you can see down below, every single one of my personal detail is being used by Facebook. My relationship status, my job title, education history, everything. Now make sure to comment below what you find with your Facebook profile. Anyway, the best thing is I can just tap stop tracking and allow Jumbo to, you know, do its thing and fix it. Just like that. Now that is super useful and you can link your Instagram, Twitter, Google account and see how all those platforms are using your personal data. So try it out. Now, third app on the list is for people who don't really want to use the Aurora store, but they do want to know if the apps they are using have any trackers. Now, the app I'm talking about is Classy Shark Exodus. Yeah, it's a weird name, but this is based on Google's Classy Shark tool. So this app might look a bit outdated on the UI front, but you can just tap on an app here and see the trackers. For example, Amazon has four trackers and they're even mentioned down below. Two of them are for ads, as you can see. Now let's try Facebook. So Facebook, as you can see, has eight trackers, obviously. I mean, I'm sure this app will open your eyes and show you how bad tracking has become. So yeah, make sure to try this. Also, one thing to note is that it does not scan system apps yet, but the developer is working on that. iOS's privacy indicators are cool and we have previously recommended access dots because it brings similar privacy dots that show up when an app is using the camera or the mic. But today I'm talking about access dots again because it has gone a step further. Access dots now also shows you a dot where an app is taking up your location via GPS. Yup, this is handy. 
Well, here I am in Google Maps to give you an idea and you can see this dot here, right? This shows that an app is using the location. Plus, I like that there's even a whole access log showing the app that I've accessed the camera, mic or location with the exact time details. Apart from this, you can customize the color of the dots and set the location of the dots. Now, access dots is available for free, but it shows quite a few ads. So that's something you should know. So Bromite is the next app on the list. And let me just put it this way. Bromite is basically Chrome, but more secure, more private. Now what I'm trying to say is Bromite is based on Chromium, so you get all the Chrome features, the speed, but it has a more privacy focused approach and it's cleaner. For example, here's Bromite and Chrome's home screen side by side and see how Bromite does not have the whole discover and top sites recommendations. Apart from a cleaner UI, Bromite also has a ton of privacy features. Now I can't just list down all of them because there's a lot, but the important ones include the ability to block all trackers, including click tracking, hiding user data from websites, an option to go incognito always, DNS over HTTPS, smart search and AMP disabled by default and more. Like I said, there are a lot of privacy features here, so try out Bromide. See, cloud storage services are great, but they can be a little pricey and they also take up a lot of personal data. Now that's where sync thing comes in. Now Sync Thing is an open source file sync app which you can use to build your own sort of personal private cloud storage. See, to be clear, Sync Thing does not use the cloud at all. Instead, you can use your very own storage system and sync its data to all your devices. It's pretty simple. I have set up Sync Thing on my laptop and my phone and as you can see, I have this folder with these files and thanks to Sync Thing, this folder is now available on both the devices. Also, as you can see, I can always add more folders and I can always add more devices. So in essence, both my laptop and my phone are now my private cloud servers where I can save my files and access them on any device I want. I know it's a little complex, but if you do set it up, it can be very handy. Now, apart from the great privacy apps I just talked about, there are some more bonus privacy apps that I want to mention. And yeah, some of these are very popular apps, but a lot of people are still not using them. So here goes. First up, Signal Messenger, because you all know the reason we have already talked about the evil sort of plan from WhatsApp. So this is high time you all switch to Signal. Now second, you should use a VPN to keep your identity secure, especially on public Wi-Fi networks. So I use Proton VPN. It's free version only requires you to create an account and sign in. And it has three locations, which should be enough for most people. Another thing you should use is a more secure search engine. You can use DuckDuckGo or you can use startpage.com which actually shows you Google search results but does not collect or sell search history and there's no tracking or cookies. You should also use a password manager to keep your password strong and secure. Bitwarden Password Manager is a great feature-packed open source password manager available on all platforms. Lastly, you can also check out these apps from the simple mobile tools. These apps are basically open source versions of basic apps like Dialer, Contacts, Notes, File Manager, Clock, Flashlight, etc. And all of these apps are actually very simple and they don't have any trackers, no login required. So they might not be as feature rich, but they're definitely more private. Well, those are some great privacy apps that you should be using on your Android smartphone right away. And if you know of any other privacy app that we missed out on, just make sure to comment below so that everyone can know. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. And yeah, stay safe, guys. Thanks for watching. <music>